in one-on-one -on -one sports. Joining me today are two renowned appearance analysts, Christine Williams and Lindsay Smith. Now, many athletes are well known for being both talented at their sport and good looking, but today we're going to talk about the not so fortunate ones. Now, Christine, who do you think is the ugliest athlete in the NFL? Well, in the NFL, you probably probably haven't heard of him, and it's probably a good thing. You are blessed to have not seen this man. Pat McKeeston of the Arizona Cardinals, he's an offensive tackle. Oh, be thankful you've not seen this man. Uh, we're going to show you a picture, oh, I'm oh, pretty sure. Him. So I feel sorry for you now, but he looks kind of like a clown. With you know, He's got the red hair going out to here. He's probably not only the ugliest per player in the NFL, but probably the ugliest person I've ever seen he's, in my life. He's definitely. So, you know, he poor, has a poor very guy. large head. A large and head. He's just, he's just not very pleasant on the I'm going to have to come in here and say the offensive tackle position isn't a very glamorous position, yeah. but someone who's pretty ugly at a pretty glamorous position is Eli Manning. Aww. You know what? Well, I think like every time he puts on his padding and his helmet together, he reminds me of like the structure of a light bulb. And then okay. he kind of okay, looks that. like okay. a cartoon. He has like a cartoony type face. But he's definitely though compared he's kind of like, to this guy. He's kind he's of like a puppy dog. But compared to like long. quarterbacks he's, in the league, he's not the ugliest of the Manning he, brothers. I would say if you're going to go quarterbacks, Joe Flacco. Okay, okay, guys, let's move on. Let's move on to the NHL. Who do you think? Is okay, the this in the is NHL? based on like pure intimidation factor because I am like literally like 5'1", this guy is over like a foot taller than me. I'm going to have to say Zdeno Chara of the Boston Bruins. Just because if exactly. I was standing next to him, I would probably be like scared to death. Well, he's I'm, he's so big. He's kind of like yeah. the big friend, friendly giant, though. I mean, he's not the most attractive. People of that height usually aren't, you know, that attractive he's for some of, weird I reason. I feel when I look at him, he has a really small head for the rest of his body. He does. Yeah. His teeth aren't the best, but you know, we grew up I in the Czech Republic. I think that's like public. a hockey player thing, though. Like, yeah. if we're gonna go with someone, I've got to say Dan Carcillo. <laughs> of the Chicago Blackhawks. That man, I know a lot of hockey players don't have teeth, and sometimes that's a really endearing factor. Sometimes they pull it off really well. This man, he kind of looks like an angry rodent. I'd say if you factor out the teeth, they're probably about the same amount of ugliness, but yeah. with the teeth, I'd, yeah. say, I'd say he wins. All right, what about in the NBA? In the NBA, it's kind of it's a close call for me, but I'm gonna have to go with Joakim Noah of the Chicago <laughs> Bulls. You know, his mother was actually a Miss Universe contestant. What? She spit out an ugly one. Oh. Let me tell you, he's got you know the big flare and nostrils, he's got the gap in his teeth, which also can and be an hair, endearing characteristic. Mm -hmm. The hair is just out to here. If he had like a nice face with the hair, it wouldn't be too bad. But it's like all at once. It's just it's you just can't all at it. you. you can't. What, what do you think? Well, I thought um, going off of the lake, going with the Lakers here, Meta World Peace and Steve Nash yeah. kind of make an ugly team Lakers together. Lakers kind of have an ugly team. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Meta's Don't got you a very have like, that, pitched face. There's like a llama like comparison of like Paul Gasol and yeah, like, yeah, he kind of looks like llama. Mr. Tumnus, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so poor guys, not that. Lakers fortunate. have an ugly team. It's okay. Uh, all right, guys. Um, what about in the MLB? Last one. In the MLB, this is also a tough one. There are some of those guys aren't the best looking in the world, but I have to go with Vicente Padilla of the Boston Red Sox here. This guy is a relief pitcher, so usually relief pitchers aren't that aren't the best in shape. They don't no. have to go out there very much. They don't have to do a lot of work. Kind of looks like a frog. And, you know, he's, he's, he's got definitely a squinted face, and you know he's actually wanted and in he his home country in sweats. Nicaragua so much when he's out on the mound. Yeah. He's Literally much like, like a I think toad. when I first I'm a big Red Sox fan, so when I started watching the games this summer and I had no idea who he was, I looked out and I would ask, who's the sweaty guy? Yeah, he's just he's just big and he's just a wet, ugly <laughs> He man. pitches he's pretty well though. For what the Red Sox have, he does a good job. That is true. All right. That is true. I'm gonna have to go with two players from the San Francisco Giants, Tim Lincecum, mm. starting pitcher, and yeah. Brian Wilson. A closer with that beard. Yeah. Come on, they're who's both, attracted to that? Yeah. There, I'm they're sure. both pretty. Bad. Pretty sure. All right, ladies. Well, thank you for your opinions. We're all better educated on everyone's looks now. And sadly, we ran out of time. And don't go away because when one-on-one -on -one returns, we'll evaluate week one performances of several NFL players. Stay tuned.